Just fixing the stream title, I forgot. What does that say? Yeah, that's an understatement. What does the factory say, actually? Descriptive. Yeah, never lose. Good luck with that. my streak I think it was 77 from earlier cool okay boring setup stuff done Anything doesn't. Do I have notes on Don Fan? Probably. Don't think I need to look them up. Should be fairly obvious. The poison jab lock is good. It's set one with poison jab. Okay. Worth buying the extra turns, I think. Now, against rock ground. What am I most concerned of being in the back? Can't really think of anything that has a phasing move. Is there a psych up Reggie Rock? Is Simon okay? This is a sip no four then.
all of the special defense drops. I want a defense boost. Evasion kind of works. Yeah, I'm looking for the defense boost. It's a 21 IV trainer, so this hypno isn't fainting this turn. It might be worth using acupressure instead of sub. Wish cash for though. Scar on four is not going to win from here. Medicham one. It might have been worth using Thunder Wave, actually. It does set up a much longer exposure on the boosts. a worker, I'm safe. Right on Shackle. You did it. I've forgotten what my notes are about a bomber snow. Thunder wave. Makes sense. That's what I wanted to do anyway. It is set to. It's Gyarados first, right? If it hits every Seer Sheer Cold, that's not good. I think it has to be Gyarados first, though. Missing a sheer cold would be nice. The fully paralysed chance does help a lot as well. It's only got one sheer cold left. Kind of waiting on the sheer curl to be used. Having said that, plus five is pretty good. Yeah, I'll just go.
Miranda is set for. I think it's just trick yawn. I can then get Gyarados in. Its move is going to be a bit random here, but it won't Earthquake. That might be Earthquake range at minus three. blanked on that. <sighs> I'm not sure how many uh, Thunder Punches it's used. I've made such a mess of this. made such a mess of this. Let me think. It thunder punched Uxi several times in the beginning. It's four. I cycled Drapion three times. The problem is, I think if I go to Drapion, it might not be guaranteed to use Earthquake. It might see a kill with two Thunder Punches. That makes it quite scary to do pivoting. Probably got five from the punches left, that would be my guess. It's also faster than Gyarados, isn't it? Sure, if it would be enough, we'll do it. Nineteen. It might be safe to let that faint.
What is the point of saving Drapion when it's so low? I'm not going to be able to stall out the Thunder Punches. Here's another thought though, against an electric trainer how many boosts do I need? Because it's not going to, there are a lot of electric types. What if Jolteon 4 is in? going to be two electric types in the back, potentially. A lot of electric types are fast and a plus one Gyarados. At least nothing in the back can have a Shuckerberry. there ever a world where I need Drapion alive? There might be. It's a physical electric type. What if it's Raichu 4 or something in the back? I would want to save Drapion for that, I guess. It's probably Earthquake. I'm just going to have to dance twice on this. No punishment from paralysis. Luxray 4. Always going to see a kill, obviously. I'm just wondering if it's worth substituting for the one percent, for the five percent miss chance. But let's say the next Pokemon in is Ampharos for something. I would then want to have substitute as an option for Thunder. No, Amphros 4 doesn't count. Because I don't miss zoom lens, I'm just thinking if there's an electric in the back with thunder and an accuracy item. I'm not sure actually. Really not sure. What is it? Electric Forders of an Axi item. Sprite Powder. Is there any point using Sub? 
could it encourage the AI to throw? I take 36 damage by subbing. I'd be at 41. I wouldn't be in range of Swift at 41. And I wouldn't be able to sub again at 41. So there's no point. There's no point doing that. Sorry, not not 41, 43, but there's no point. It's just a straight crap shot I've got to hit. No punish. I played so bad against that Electrovar. I just completely forgot. It was so fast. Sylvie. I feel like I still trick. It's not Hippo 2, it's only 3 to 1. It's the elemental punches. I don't like seeing Ice Punch. In fact, I want to trick it back. I guess I'll find the way first. This will be fun to punch every time. While it still has fire punch PP and it can use fire punch, I'm not too scared of the perma freeze. Don't mind risking the paralysis. If it's egg free, I avoided a big punish by going too early, but it's not egg free, so it didn't matter. Clown Francis or Enzo? Jinx is a bit scary. I've got to remove the choice specs at least from set four. It's so lax and sense, that's Jinx two. boost out of respect for Slowbro being in the back or something.
Kathy. Set to. I don't need more than 23 turns to set up acupressure, so there's no point using Thunder Wave. Stop annoying me, Melacham, too. It's any set from KT. I'm quite scared of Amphros 4. Because of how much damage Thunder does. I think it has to be Thunder Wave though. Because although Amphros 4 is still slower, the others aren't necessarily. Keep in mind, Amphros is base 55 speed, that's fast enough. I think it has to be Thunder Wave. It's cherry berry. Heracross can actually Oko Uxi. It's strong enough. Mega Horn Oko's Uxi sometimes. This should be fun the wave. Forgot about Focus Punch, but it's fine. In fact, it's a good thing. It gives me more time for the setup than I need. Why are the last boosts always at the end? There's special attack. Okay. I'm not sure what the last boost is actually. It was the other special attack. I thought it didn't get any. So we don't Oko.
Ooh. No focus sash. I don't think that's what Boris says. No, it is Boris. It's very likely to use the storm here. In fact, it's guaranteed, isn't it? In doubles, I do want to break the world record in singles. It's going to take a very long time. I don't think there's any way that I would commentate the whole thing. I think the fastest I can go. I think I can do 60 games in an hour. No, not 60. I think I can do about 40 games in an hour. I think this team is better than the... I think this team is better than the uh, Drifloon Low Pony team. I've lost faith in Double Cripple ever since I lost of it. And it wasn't, that match wasn't even my fault. This team can lose, but it loses to a much narrower list of things. It's Tobias, isn't it? The immediate spadef drop makes me want to... The problem is it takes three turns off setup to go back and front away. I don't think I can do it. Double spadef drop immediately is pretty bad. Triple spadef drop. I even want to try and sweep with minus three spadef. It's not the first time that I've had triple spadef drop. Four, five, eight, nine, ten. It's got five shadow balls left. Okay, after the triple spadef drop, I should have actually switched to Gyarados. It's out very soon. I didn't count it specifically, though. I 
that crits per death drop really? I'm slow at plus one as well. It's funny, I was going to say this in the write-up, I'm like, you, when you're running Trick Dreams, you lock a lot of things in the Shadow Ball. This Drapion is almost max for death, and it's a problem. It's a problem that when you lock something into Dragon Ball, I have no idea how people in the past didn't run into problems, because Shadow Ball getting multiples for death drops happens quite a lot. Uh, it just no one mentions it, which makes me feel like I'm either really unlucky or I, I don't know. I think that's match eighty-eight. Evolution sweeps are quite easy. But um, Drapion never loses them is the most important thing. Even the Psych Up um Umbreon isn't a problem. But yeah, this team is really good. I just don't trust myself to never make a mistake. It seems like it must happen in 2000 games. Very good luck on the full paralysis, at least. <sighs> yeah, this curse ambion set can't win. But it can make the game go a long time. I wrote up Gallade earlier today, what was it? I think it might be Thunderwave. Ah, it is a trick. I have to risk set two. That's fine though. Cassie. I'm also thinking because <laughs> this is what I don't understand about a lot of the previous teams is that the way that they would set up on dangerous special attackers is through flash, which does sort of work, but it doesn't work very well. Memento into battle armor is a lot safer. But what's funny is that none of these teams lost to that. Jumpman lost to a Metagross. Jumpman lost to a Metagross 4 and Petico lost to Gliscor 3, I think. And the cheetah said he lost to Rhydon or something. But I think rank 4 also lost to Oko. I think he lost to Rhydon as well, actually. Maybe I've confused those two.
me it is normally Electrify 3 it is the bigger problem than Electrify in fact Electrify 2 is a bigger problem than Electrify 3 wise glasses It prevents memento, but I didn't need it. Um, not anymore. I think they were all beaten. We used to have quite a lot. I mean depending on if you believe the mind reader sheer code Articuno he has the record in arcade singles I think that's it I'm facing a guitarist here Don't need to overboost. Please don't be right, you four. We'll never know. Okay, it could be four slash four, I guess, but we don't miss. No Inferno? Okay, good. I quite like the moving. Quite like removing the choice scarf, actually. I can't trick and memento though. It's probably smarter to memento. Go Gyarados before Drapion. I wouldn't lose if Drapion got frozen. It would just mean a Gyarados setup instead. Maybe it was smarter to trick, actually. With this much evasion, maybe I should try and sweep, actually. It's getting low on Ice Punch PP, which means I'm getting low on times to unfreeze. But look, all the, look at all these speed boosts that are right at the end. Disgusting. That's the heat round that killed my best streak.
that Heatran free set, I missed it twice. I missed it first with Icy Wind and then I missed it with Memento. No, 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 I also missed it with Switcheroo, that was it. I'll need to trick that back. The problem is that Driftblim 1 has a Tom Pass, I can't trick back. I'm not sure if this breaks the sub, apparently it does. Still, Stroll does so little damage. have to let it faint to struggle though because of aftermath crit struggle probably doesn't break the sub on its own Okay, I'm glad I waited on the sub then. This Gyarados is so slow. It's the big advantage that Celements would have. sub up. Yeah, it's uh, 15 years old almost. What's funny about Jumpman's record is that with mod knowledge he wouldn't have lost. Because he would have known that um, that drift limb couldn't explode, and he also would have known, with modern knowledge, um, information for what the final Pokémon was, and that would have told him to play differently with Garchomp in the game he lost. Okay, with plus four, 
What do I get that I wouldn't get before? I'm not worried about Skeptile. Not Venusaur, not Torterra. And there's no hacks items on Blastoise, and I know I've already seen the item. I guess Infernate Free. But Infernate Free, I just want to have more health for. Well, that wasn't an Infernic one. I'm not sure what it was, though. Yeah, not having plus four for Blastoise was fine. Katie is any set. I wonder if I meant to Thunder Wave. I'm a little bit worried about the special set free getting Carl Mines off. It's set four again. Difference is this time it's locked into Thunder Punch, not Ice Punch. I don't think it's that greedy to find a way first. Already got a special attack and both defenses and evasion and speed. It's almost perfect boosting. If I get one more special attack boost, I can actually just go. Ah, uh, you're ruining it, Drapion. What surprises me about the facilities is how little attention was given to everything except the tower. Like, a few years ago, maybe even last year, the records were kind of shit, to be honest. Like, the, um, the factory record was terrible. Castle Doubles is still undercooked. Arcade, both sections I think aren't well done yet. I mean, it's a bit difficult to say, but I'm obviously... I think if you remove the cheaters, the streaks are pretty bad, to be honest. Like, I've got a mental idea in my head of what's, what runs are very likely to be cheated, and it's only really tower which is impressive. Now, I need to be careful about Garchomp for it does do too much damage even at minus three. I wrote notes on this earlier. It is a s instant memento, that makes sense. If I miss set one with memento, that's not too bad. So it's Dragon Rush, it's set three.
But yeah, if I was being mean, if I was being very cruel about it, I would say that not very many good players have ever touched Gen 4. And a lot of the tower streaks are copycat people just copying what Jumpman and Peter Co were doing. And it works really well, which is why they have some impressive streaks there, but it's like everywhere else is just it's kind of terrible. That's a pretty good team. I have to trick because of the risk of explosion, I think. I think it's worth exchanging Thunder Waves. You can see it isn't worth that much. And the setup very rarely fails. Plus four evasion, plus six evasion, plus four defense, plus four special attack. Where's special defense? If I miss it for a second, I have to go soon. I have to go now, I think. gonna phase me you're not your scum before without full special attack boost Tita 4 is a bit scary in last but it's not it's Tita 3 It is a bit crushing. There's so many teams which would be good if you only need to get like 100 wins in a row. But there's so many things that fall apart because of like one or two sets. And you're guaranteed to run into them in a long streak. It's quite depressing. Which is why it's a bit strange when very long streaks from the past don't bring up certain threats. I know you've said that before. I'm just agreeing.
Apparently it's Medicham 4 day. I could trick back. I think I like tricking back more than using Memento here. Because I can bring it down to minus one. And now it can no longer permanently freeze Drapion. I suppose it's a little bit nervous at the start. I'm kind of waiting on a defense or an evasion boost. It's not super obvious which one is better out of double trick. Or using Memento. Perhaps it is Memento. I do think I have to trick Medicham though, it's, I think set free is too much of a problem otherwise. Perhaps what I do is I could just switch on turn one. What if I switch Drapion into a f Ice Punch and it freezes? Mm. Trapion can be hit by the second one. So many things that Trapion can't Oko. I don't think I Oko at this at plus six. Perhaps Crunch is better on Trapion. Yeah, freeze. <laughs> Does it beat a team that's spamming Blizzard? Does it lose if Snowclick activates once? It's the biggest question I have about a lot of teams too. It's it's not even a it's not even a Pokemon. It's just, what about what about freeze? <laughs> or what about an entire type?
And what's funny is that sometimes you can win, but it's like if your explanation starts with, oh, you know, I switch this and that and then I do this and that, and like that already sounds like a disaster. So I have to trick Magnazone because of Mag 2 exploding. But Mag 4 is also a problem with Modest T Bolt. It is Mag 4, but it doesn't go for Thunderbolt. At least Magnazone is slow. Oh, this might break the sub, actually. It does. I'd right, like a few more fully paralyzed turns. I'm not going to greed plus I mean, this is the biggest problem with Choice Scarf Trick is that so many Pokemon have a 10% chance to just explode in turn one. And I'm not sure. I mean, there's no way to counterplay it. Like, it would be absolutely insane if I switched Gyarados here. Thinking about this legendary trainers and who's it, who, who should be setting up against them. Between a partial setup on Drapion or full setup on Gyarados? Usually Gyarados. And I would rather try and sweep in Sandstorm than without it. Not Moltres one. Always scared of Driftlin 4. At least Driftlin 4 doesn't always Oko Uxi. I mean, there are so many problems that all exist because Uxi is running so much to death. I wonder if I should roll, run a bold Uxi. It makes the Raikou matchup so much worse. The Raikou 3 matchup becomes dreadful. I think it becomes like paralysis might be GG. I fix so many problems elsewhere just by running about 10% more physical defense. 
it's drifting one again. We'll see how far I get. I kind of like setting up from here though. I've got Spadef and Evasion already. Obviously Driftblem is struggling now. We'll see how it goes. Attack is useless. I found special attack. I need speed. Or at least, if not speed, physical defense. So I don't have speed. Here comes Frostlass. It's interesting, against another trainer, I would not have gone for that. This is Star Up to Free, isn't it? From the beauty. Is this ever memento? Instant memento. Star Raptor would be at minus three before it even gets a hit against Drapion. I think it's Memento straight away. I should survive too. To sixty percent. And I've used free moves, it's going to kill itself very quickly. Speed is good. Double speed is not good. It wasn't even that unlucky to have this situation come up. Surely one last acupressure is worth it. My sub just gets broken anyway. Oh. I miscounted. Venusaur free. Obviously didn't get any defense boosts or any evasion. This is curse or seed bomb every time. So I, there's not any particular set, it's when it's a Pokemon and I don't know what the set is and I have to try and prepare for all four sets is the worst. So the worst is um, Rampardos, 
Raikou. I'm trying to think what the third worst is. Raikou and Rampardos are one and two. Maybe a bomber snow. A bomber snow is pretty bad. No, it wouldn't be a bomber snow. There's worse things than a bomber snow. I don't know. There's worse things than a bomber snow. I'm in trouble if this curses again. So the one good thing about the AI is that Curse works off defense boosts, not attack boosts. So once it at, once it's at plus six defense, it will never curse again. Outrage. Sure how to take advantage of this. I guess I just switch. It, it's generally good for me because it's going to start hitting itself in confusion. I'm going to have to sub this time. So that seed bomb did 14. It's running very low on attack. Yeah, the, maybe the worst. I mean, there's lots of bad ones. Infernape's pretty bad. Infernape might be quite a lot worse than a bomber snow. There's also every single Pokemon that knows the move Explosion. Oh yeah, like Muck 4. Muck 4 is dreadful. I can't trick Muck 4. So I've just got to wait. Wait until it explodes because of Sticky Hold. Gastrodon is not as bad because I have Memento. If I didn't have a Memento lead, Gastrodon would be really bad. People don't bring up Gastrodon very much, which surprises me, but obviously Gastrodon also prevents Trick, and Gastrodon 4 has Ice Beam, Surf, Earth Power. It can hit all of the normal setup stuff. And Gastrodon 4 is strong enough that it is a threat. Gliscor is quite bad too, because Gliscor turns off Intimidate with Hypercutter, and Gliscor can threaten Set Free, which has Guillotine, and is faster than both Pokemon. If I was using um, Garchomp, Gliscor would be a lot less scary. I can't remember if I killed something off this is... No, there's a Pokemon still. 
left alive. Yeah, I guess you have to use flash. I don't like... The flash setup works on average, it's just the problem is, like, let's say, Drapion's at 80 HP, and it's Venusaur 3, or Gastrodon or something, if it hits, Drapion's gonna faint, and if it doesn't hit, you, you don't want to um, be wasting time on rest. Yeah, Peter Coe had a lot of notes that explained how he was facing, how, how he would strategize around things, and he often misplayed. I'm not sure about Jumpman. Jumpman didn't post as much about details on how he played. I missed what set this is, but I'm scared of set 3. Set 1. Don't be T T4. Okay, good. I think I might keep going. My motivation to play castle, is, my, to play tower is so low. I think I need all the momentum I can take when I feel okay about playing the game. This is Mach 4. What do I do against Mark 4 again? Because Gunk Shot does a lot, I think. What I used to do. I think what I used to do is just switch to Drapion. I could yawn. I could just switch to Drapion and use Substitute until Muck explodes and hope it doesn't explode on turn one or explode in turn two of Quick Claw. Yeah, Muck is like, Muck is a disaster.
There are not a lot of Pokemon on a PI team that Gyarados can't set up on. I would rather lose Drapion than lose Uxie. Alternatively, I could sack Gyarados. When we're going Gyarados, is the gunk shot does a lot to Gyarados. A crit gunshot would take it out. That does break the sub. Honestly, that's okay. Was that the last gunk shot? Used one on the switch. And I've used three moves. It has one more gunk shot. If it uses quick claw gunk shot and hits before I sub, it'll have quick claw brick break kill next turn, but not shadow sneak. So I think it is correct to substitute, even though it's got quick claw. So Brick Break kills here. This is always Brick Break. And this is very, very likely to be Explosion. I mean, I agree, but I also think that what a lot of it's like what you said, like a, what a lot of people think is enough analysis isn't enough analysis. Um, most of the time, it's nowhere near enough. I'm in a lot of trouble here because Drapion's going to faint to Brick Break, um, but I'm in. S I, I lose if it's a Quick Claw explosion right now. Actually, I don't. Quick Claw explosion. Would have to also crit to take out Gyarados. Maybe I go back to Uxi and yawn. Maybe I should have done that two turns ago. I could also just go back to Drapion, even if Brick Break does KO it. I think I've got to accept that I lose the Quick Claw explosion though. Okay, Shadow Sneak crit not too bad. I do need plus one to Oko Muck. Very, 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 very tempting to boost more. But this thing has a quick claw. And I'm much better off at plus one behind a sub than I am at plus two without one against a PI. These are trainers that don't have particularly fast Pokemon. No crit though. It's 
Articuno 4. Go for the flinch. I could sub to tempt it on sheer cold. <sighs> I've had so many games where muck exploded on turn one. Gun tank for Yeah. And what's crazy is that some Pokemon are so much more common than others. Like PIs are common and they always run muck four if they run a muck. It's like this Gliscor free is also really common. I wonder if I should pay more attention to physical free and team building. Yeah. Settlements would be so much better into a lot of these Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I trick all of them including the bright powder one. Shuckerberry. Bad boosts so far. Evasion helps. The defense helps. Pick up special defense. Being max speed is irrelevant. God, look how long I'm waiting for special defense and special attack. I'll have to go on that. This Manetrix running out of PP. It's jolty on free. Sorry, jolty on one. Rare situation where being at plus six speed does matter. Breloom is a mess to fight against. I think I do have to trick, even if it is um, Breloom free. want to risk Gyarados. Seed Bomb crit would do a lot. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like Durant is faster. There are too many, assuming you're playing well, there are too many complicated matchups in Gen 4. Which slows down the player, I think.
and a lot of Durant teams are Dragon Dance, Dragonite, which isn't very slow to set up even with the Protect turns. But I haven't played a big Durand streak, so might be wrong. Maybe it is very complicated, I don't know. That wasn't a very smooth transition by the YouTube video. Apex of the world. We'll just skip ahead to the good song, maybe. Oh, but it's the thunder one. It's the rain. This is so weird about the lyrics. Wait, really? <laughs> no, I don't play games with other people. I'm not that kind of streamer. Yeah, it probably is one. But um, I called on out for being a bot a while back and it was a person and they got very offended. But they were spamming links. Point number five, I did miss a streak. Is this Bond Song 4? It's name Gunther. It is set for. Ah, uh, Bond Song is also a problem. Everything with explosions is a problem. At least I can trick this into a move. I feel like Ironhead doesn't two-shot the sub. We'll see. If it does, that's okay. Yeah, the sub survives two Ironheads. It probably didn't with the old EV spread. Set fours are a bit scary to face with Gyarados because of all of the evasion items. No flinch. I 
don't think it's worth fishing for a stone edge miss. At least this team has a real plan for Metagross 4. I can just yawn it and then Gyarados can kill it. Uh, Lapras is also a big problem, so every set is a problem. Set 1 and 3 I need to trick because they have a setup move. Set 2 is Quick Claw Oko and set 4 is Bright Powder so um, Trick can miss. And set 4 will also use Ice Beam which can freeze. So Lapras is a bit of everything. It's a lot less scary if I know the set, but when I don't know the set, it's a problem. And Lapras 2 is faster than Drapion with a Choice Scarf. So I feel like the correct thing to do on Lapras is probably Yawn, but I want to see what my notes used to say about this. My, no my notes say to use Yawn. Waterfall is Lapras 3. It's the best one to face by far. It's got Dragon Dance, but that's okay. This is Outrage or Dragon Dance. Very likely to be Dragon Dance. So I don't mind tricking it into Waterfall at plus one. But because it's slower than the Ugasi, it's very likely to trick itself into Dragon Dance. So yeah, Lapras is really bad. Combination of everything that I'm scared of. Freeze, Oko, and set up bait on the no trick. I swear if Snow Cloak is in the back. I've just got to kill it, I didn't got any choice. Okay, Jinx is good. I think this could be any set. It's not set one, that's not good news. I'm quite scared of Rapidash 3. And I think I have to use Thunder Wave on Rapidash 3. play punished so hard Fuck. I knew I should have gone drappy on shit <laughs> it's because he got paralyzed on turn one so at minus one flare blitz will break the sub still
I can't acupressure for sure. Not while Cordial has PP left. I could trick. I'm not sure if I meant a trick or memento. If I trick it into um, into horn drill, which is the most likely move for it to use against Uxie, um, I obviously am faster with Drapion, and I can sub. The problem is that if horn drill doesn't break the sub on the third turn, because it has four horn drills left, three horn drills if horn drill hits Uxi, then I have no way of boosting at all. I'm just a Drapion behind a sub, and and Rapidash will be at minus one, and I'm not sh I don't think Rapidash will break the sub in two shots at minus one. This is why I should have gone uh, Drapion instead of Uxi. Sorry, Drapion instead of Gyarados. And I think it's going to force me to a Memento, and I'm going to have to Memento on a Bright Powder Rapidash. It's going to be risky if I... Hmm. I think I'm going to have to use Memento though. I lose, I Omega lose if Memento misses. But I think the trick... The, it's so likely that I trick it into Horn Drill and it's so unlikely that I can set up on Horn Drill. Okay, it's still only used one horn drill. I need to count them. That's two. That's three. That's four. It's got one more. Right, that's the last horn drill. I can set up now. It's at minus three. Need to be a bit careful of being burned, I guess. I really need evasion or defense, actually. Nice, I was hoping you used Iron Tail there. Oh, it's doing too much damage to itself. I didn't get my boosts in early enough. This must be defense, I think. Black Belt Ronnie, it was so it's Fire and Fighting sets two to four. The problem is that if he has a physical mon, it's much more likely to come in second. Since Rapidash itself is physical. Basically I think I'm in huge trouble against an earthquake Pokemon. I don't even have evasion.
I wonder if I'm just meant to substitute here. If if Macha if Earthquake Machamp or something is in the back, I just lose. The only way I'd save myself is by getting a defense or evasion boost or something. So fucking dead. At least it's a short streak.
That looks too close. Oh. <laughs> I think I prefer sub. So just rest. That's probably what I'm, I'm gonna probably end up using rest anyway. My spadef, I just think two out of seven for acupressure, evasion, or defense, particularly evasion, gives me a whole nother turn against Rapidash. Oh, this is so bad. It's got to be acupressure, I think, actually. If I can get defense, I can win. Attack, okay. Rapidash really faints to that, did it? This is very likely to be a physical Arcanine. I need it to be Arcanine 1, I think. Arcanine 4, I would lose. I do, I am at plus 2 speed. I beat Arcanine free every time. There's no way. There's no point worrying about that. I've got a very good chance against Arcanine one just substitute on it. Actually, I can just rest on it. Arcanine 1 is rest. Arcanine 2. Well, I'm dead to Flevlet. I guess I would want to sub. I could try and flinch it, I guess. Arcanine 4 is very similar to Arcanine 2, except Arcanine 4 can extreme speed immediately.
I would lose Arcanine 4 because even if I survive two blitz, it's going to extreme speed on the following turn. Arcanine 2 is a bit different. A little bit different. I've got a much better chance of surviving the Blitz from Arcanine 2 since it's not adamant. I'm still... I'm still going to die the Flare Blitz though. I would have to get Acupressure or Dark Pulse flinches. Am I meant to just attack then? Acupressure defense might be enough for Arcanine 2. The problem with doing Acupressure is that I'm giving up my win against Arcanine 1. I think it has to be Arcanine 1 or Arcanine 3. And I think I have to use Rest. So, 50-50. The thing that makes it less 50-50 is that after Rapidash 3, it's much more likely to be a physical set that comes in. Because of the AI switching rules. Uh, I don't see I'm just about to lose. I've missed every important acupressure and horn drill hits and rapidash. I click yawn quite a lot. It's important tech for Pokemon that can't be paralyzed. It's important tech for Metagross to buy Gyarados a turn. Yawn is also for anything that's too fast after I give it a choice scarf. This is the team that got 600 and lost to a 0.04% gain a few weeks ago. This time it's my fault, I'm dead. Arcanine 2 and 4, GG. That's Arcanine 1 or Arcanine 4. Okay, so I either win because it fire fangs or I lose because it fair blitz. Shit. Oh, God, I hate this game so much. I can't believe that the horn drill hit. The problem there actually wasn't even the horn drill hit, it was the fact that Rapidash just didn't use horn drill for so long on its fifth one. We missed every acupressure. painful.
It's going to take so long to beat this record. I could play the Drift Bloon team, I guess. How have I lost two times before 200? I'll get back to 21. Since I can do that when I'm tired. Stop it, Porygon. Let me get plus one.
Are you thinking specifically for the frontier there? I mean, so many of them are just a phone, um, phone taking an image of a flat screen. I'm going to flip the table if it's Mantine 2 with water absorbed in the back here. I can feel it happening. I don't know. I don't know why I can feel it. Uh, 782. That's the game I lost to a triple miss against White Powder Heat Round. I mean, to be honest, it's not even like it's barely a quarter of the way there. Yeah, that took ages, and 600 wins also took ages. 
I know I can play this team at about doing. I can do about 40 matches an hour. I know I can do that. But I have to stop making any mistakes at all when I do that. Yeah, it is a lot of time. Particularly with Drapion. Drapion is not fast. And so many, I mean, you know, assuming everything is legit, so many of those games must have been stuff like Trick, Switch, Switch Back, Flash four times, Maintain the Cripple Mon just in case, Set Up. I. Uh, I don't know. It took longer to crack DS emulation than GBA emulation, but 2009 is obviously three years after the Japanese release. I feel like it probably existed. I do remember that the old DS emulators, you had to have a pretty good PC to run them. I mean, to be honest, like, look at Desmume in 2024. Like, this is as fast as I can run it. This is fully uncapped. Is it limber? Yeah, I can't bother to check properly. Cloister two. Yeah, it's crazy that phones can do it so easily nowadays. So it's guaranteed to be, to be Rhyperia before Dragonite. No focus band. Oh, 
I might as well keep going. I'll do one more. To be fair, I would rather lose in tower than lose in arcade. I still have no idea how I got through that arcade round when I was choice banded. the first roulette which is so shit like almost the first roulette is like almost every single square is bad there would be like one or two good squares uh, it's Gartrop 1 this is a yawn wakes up before plus two I might have to restall it. We'll just go. <laughs> That's a better team than Palma one actually. I don't know why, I just, I'm so much worse than I was a few weeks ago about the roulette. Like a week or two ago, I, f I felt like I could pretty consistently get it within three, and the last three streams just haven't been like that at all. What else did I do today? <laughs> yeah, in the last week I've got old. <laughs> I don't know, I just... <sighs> I keep coming back to this with thing where it's like... I think to get over 200 in the arcade, you've got to be really consistent. And there should be some evidence of that, I feel like. Like, you know the arcade singles record holder? They're in the Discord. They've posted, like, two messages. One of them was a screenshot of the record, and the other one was just, like, a very quick comment. I think I can improve at it. It's not going to be easy. Fog is particularly bad. I need to avoid fog a lot more than I do. Particularly with the team I'm running. 
I mean, to be fair, the level one team is even more in trouble from fog. I lose a few more times I might just actually just play Jumpman's team like exactly and see how that goes this is Shuckerberry Slaking two. Give it one chance to crit. I don't think I'm missing anything. I feel like I know. I, I feel like I know all the Gen Four sets at this point. I definitely know the sets in terms of what they can do to the team. I feel like I've been playing better in terms of damage estimates as well. Let's just keep going. So I lost at 111. Idols are set to, I'm pretty sure. Which means this is probably gone Z2, which is a trick. Gonna wait for it to use all ten trick PP. It's a really dumb matchup, but it is often a free win. Since I get to completely maintain Uxi. The idea of playing a thousand doubles battles in 4v4 does not appeal to me. I'm not looking forward to doing it in Gen 4. I can't remember if Dragon Tamer is set 1 or 2. It's set 1. Okay. I feel like if I get above 500 in Gen 4 doubles tower, I think that will be it. <laughs> no intention of trying to go for a particular number. 
just enough to prove that um, the teams work on stream. Fuck. I'm pretty sure Ninja Boy is set to. It is. I'm not sure if I'll ever play Subway, seriously. Ugh. What a misclick. Overcounted the wins. Whoops. It's Nido two. Well, at least it's it's um, Castle tomorrow. I do enjoy Castle a lot more than Arcade. Wake up, you can see. Cream on the same turn, I want to sub. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I'm quite confident in going over 500, based on what I've seen in doubles in Castle and Arcade, playing various teams. I 
it will be like that, except um, it'll be 4v4. gonna call it there it's too late it would tilt me off the edge of the planet if I lost before 49 